What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi. Oh boy. All right, we were just about to question Adachi, guys. Um, it's really fun to watch the little guy squirm. Uh, welcome back. I'm the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. We just had to, because we stopped last session in the middle of doing this, I had to play through it again, and I was like, it's fine. We'll get right back there. It took us a good amount of time to, like, figure out how to get back to this screen because we were missing talking to one person. It's not, it, like, it wasn't as bad as what I had to go through yesterday, though. Like... I realize now you actually have to go talk to every single person yep. and ask them multiple questions during that so that you can confirm that they're useless. Pretty much. Um, before anyone, at, like, for anyone wondering why I said yesterday, by the way, I just yeah. did a stream yesterday for the Fatalis hunt, and we barely got even got to Fatalis because we had to do so much prep beforehand that we didn't even realize we had to do. Yeah, it sound, sounds like a rough time. It, it was not... It was not... It got to becoming not fun, especially because uh, random drops are a bitch. Like, Gold Rathian can go fuck herself. Like, Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we're finally going to start questioning Adachi. Here and we go. Seeing if he really is the murderer, which he is. Um, so let's ask him about when Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. You should question Adachi. He's playing dumb. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. It's also possible that Saki found something by the body that incriminated Adachi, and then he had to kill her to shut her up. Either that, or he just kind of likes killing people. Uh, there's still something you need to question Adachi about. Uh, about the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. I just want to say, if you're ever the culprit in something and you know people are closing in the last thing you should say is hey what is all of this about <laughs> because then they'll tell you and you all need to go home right now do you have any idea what time it is but yeah, i mean his his, yeah. deme his demeanor is starting to break down yeah that's exactly what would happen though if you're in a, yeah if you're, when you're in the vice grip i'm going back i need to get to the station and report in just one more thing we know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous! We already know Namatame's the one who put them all in! Boom. What did you just say? Ah, uh, yeah. Boom. Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? I like that Dojima gets to be part of this, too. Yeah, he's like, wait a second. That doesn't seem right. Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. See, this is why Naoto is the last party member that you got, because if you had her from the beginning, this all would have been solved way too quick. At yeah. the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, 
Wow. Then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days, yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Oh, there he goes. Wait, you son of a bitch! Yeah, running away. Uh, Adachi! Uh, oh! No. Damn it! Adachi! Oh yeah, he's probably pissed right now. Yeah, I bet, because that's like why his... Why his daughter almost died. And like, still technically could die. Not with Hamane's hospital room. Adachi isn't here, either. What the? I swear he ran this way! Well, I don't know. Is there any object in this room that might help somebody escape if they had special TV jumping powers? Well, gee, I wonder now- Dude, now you see the why they, they kept it in here. So I'm saying, if you're Naoto, or you Narakami, why do you let this TV be in here? That's true. Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. I mean, I do totally get why Adachi wanted to keep the TV in here, though. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Found the murderer. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Um... I mean, I don't think we should go right now. I'm gonna say let's go tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. Mm -hmm. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. The extremely suspicious Detective Adachi. You've taken another step closer to the truth. There we go. All right, I like these rapid fire judgment rank ups we're getting. Yeah, because now we can like view some semi-powerful judgment personas. <laughs> uh, you split up for today and you all went back home. There's still the hanging, uh, there's still the hanging thread of Teddy. Where'd he go? Yeah, he went. I don't even know if where Teddy is is the TV world anymore. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna get this early rest. So is now the point where we have some time before we have to go back into the... Oh, he's in the Velvet Room. This... It seems that you've come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Hi, Teddy. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? Yeah, I feel like Teddy is, like, the missing puzzle piece of this entire thing. Um, I don't know, I think it's a dream, or I could ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. 
But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. See, I don't think Teddy's a shadow, though, either. Everyone's worried, how'd you get here, or just, just a shadow? Or maybe he is a shadow, but it's like, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say everyone's worried, because we are You're worried. always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Yeah, I think he like... Maybe he I... like just collapsed from despair and just like was carried away by the fog. It is bleeding into the other, into the real world. Yeah, I think he like disassociated so hard that he like got himself out of the, the material world. That's interesting. Because I mean, I don't know if Teddy's a shadow. Maybe he is. I, I think he's something else entirely, and it has to do with the bridges between worlds, maybe. It's also somewhat of the collective unconscious, because, um, like, the TV world or the other the other side reflects what goes on in the real world. Why, why is he like this? Why is he this big bear mascot? Why does he look yeah. like something that you could see in advertisements and things like that? I think it's similar to, like... He's he, like an idea. He's like an... He's basically an idea. That's why a lot of the personas and a lot of the shadows that you see in the TV world look like mech suits and, like, mascots and yeah. toys and things like and that. Superheroes. And, like, and superheroes and, like, uh, freaking, like mythological creatures it's because we have that stuff in our heads in the real world and that's why they manifest in the tv world yeah also he for a while i thought he could have been the protagonist's shadow but teddy has a shadow mm -hmm. so the fact that he had a shadow make like lets you know that this guy's more than just a shadow yeah he has an identity he mm -hmm. has like a soul if you will so shadows can't stay in the human world they aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. Oh, so are you a shadow, but you just, like, got more aware and became a teddy? He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. Well, see, but I think that's the thing, though, and I think that's, like, the lesson here, is that, like, everybody's kind of just a nobody, except for, like whatever they make of themselves, but we don't, like, come into this world with inherent meaning. Mm -hmm. So, like, because of that, Teddy's the same as anyone else. Yeah, and this also explains how he, quote-unquote, grew himself a body with inside that, uh, that, uh, Teddy suit when he was empty before. He basically grew such a desire to be liked by humans and to be like a human that it actually kind of manifested in that body of his. And that's why when they took him to the hospital with the x-rays, he was a big blob of nothing inside. Yeah. Like, the shape that he yeah, took he inside... Empty. Yeah, the, the shape that he took inside the teddy suit is his kind of idealized version of what a good human being looks like. Yeah, it's who he wants to be. Mm -hmm. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. 
But I did. See, that makes me wonder if there's a human somewhere, though, who's Teddy's human. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. I don't think all shadows have to correlate to a real person, though. I think some of them can just be... A... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Oh, God, somebody tell him she's not dead. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her. I'm really sorry. Nanako is alive. Oh, yeah. Huh? Really? You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana Chance. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Uh, I could ask you the yeah, same. Yeah, I could ask you the same. Bringing it back around. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Um. Yeah, let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. Then you're just like no everybody else, how dude. how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. Mood. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Uh, you can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Aw, oh, that was nice. Max rank with Teddy. Yeah, give me that star persona. So, like, yeah, that's the cool thing about the whole mascots of Persona is that they kind of encapsulate the whole you are who you choose to be. Yeah. And now we have the ability to create Hellel. Uh, Teddy Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Teddy Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Star Arcana has reached its maximum. Um, you can now fuse Hallel the Light Bearer. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Evade Elec. Ooh, okay. Um, I suggest getting rid of Ice Boost. We tend to use um, his Ice Spells for knockdowns anyway. Yeah, he's not really... Teddy's not really a damager. I mean, he is, but, uh... He's a versatile one. Yeah, he's but a support. I, I, I think of him as a support. Mm -hmm. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Oh, hey guys. Hi. Before you know it, Teddy is gone, and Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. Yeah, so either he's not a shadow, he's something else, or he was a shadow, but he grew an ego from mm -hmm. his time with us. Yep. Um, I'm not sure which, but... The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. So yeah, now that we've uh, established the... <laughs> ah, 
You are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now that we've, like, uh, revealed that Adachi is the truth behind, like, is the key to the truth behind everything, the car stopped, started moving again. Yeah. So now we're starting to get closer to the truth again. I was also thinking if that maybe explains why um, Monaco flatlined but then came back. Mm -hmm. Because if she's, if she represents the Justice Arcana and we caught Namatame and decided he was going to pay for everything because we were just mad and didn't really want the truth, then we had essentially abandoned justice. Yes. And it was only when we decided to seek the truth um, and to actually carry out real justice and not just go vigilante and throw him into the TV did she yep. come back. That, yeah, that's, because that's like, how I've chosen to interpret it. As a matter of fact, if you look at the comments, someone said someone actually mentioned that yes, if you do throw Namatame in, Nanako in fact does stay dead. Yeah, and that's like the worst ending, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. It is. Now it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. I'm also thinking that, yes, Teddy did definitely have something to do with Nanako coming back, because it's like, huh. Was Teddy, maybe Teddy staying in the room there was somehow what kept Nanako's body alive, sort of, kind of, maybe? Something like that. I don't know, that's what I'm going with. It's not important. It, it's metaphysics, how exactly it works isn't important. Yeah. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. I had a dream about him. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. So yeah, um, you, you were asking the question earlier. This is the point where we are, where yes, we want to wait until the last minute to take on this dungeon. Yeah, is that? Whoa. Yeah. Look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Is it going to give us the option to go now? Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... Maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Okay. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Aw. This place. Oh, hey, what are you Hi. doing here? Hi, welcome back. Uh, I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Hey, dude, listen to the heart monitor. It's beeping. Oh. It is you, Teddy. I heard your voice. You said, hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan, oh, hold on. I'll get the doctor. Yeah, I think it was a combination of Teddy being there and us it seems she's figuring out again. the Namatame stuff. If I may actually pull up a sort of, like, hypothesis as well. Okay. The fog is bleeding into this world, right? Yeah, Which yeah. means that the influence of the TV world is also bleeding into the real world. And the, and the thing that's killing Nanako is not 
a physical disease. It is a metaphysical disease. So, could the desires and the thought processes of Teddy and the others pleading for Nanako to hold on possibly played into that? I think it could she, play into cause it, like, yeah. Because, like, the doctor also mentioned she is fighting for her life. Not just, like, you know, physically, but mentally as well. Yeah. She's hanging in there. Like, I don't think it's just like, oh, well, if we just want it enough, she'll come back. Mm-hmm. It's not that simple, but I think that does have... That does play into it, yeah. yeah. Um... Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. That, that's partially true. Mm. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. That's why, like, if somebody's in a coma, they still, like, encourage their loved ones to come and, like, talk to them and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown, too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Boom! Alright. Um, Teddy's strong will has allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness and awakened his heart's true power. Oh yeah, I wasn't thinking about it yet. Yeah, we got we got something yeah, new here. The Kentucky Doji should have upgraded at level 10. But here's where it actually becomes truly manifest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um, what? Uh, Teddy's persona has been reborn. Kamui. Kamui, okay, alright. Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. So maybe with Teddy's help, Teddy and Risei can track down Adachi, maybe? It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact so his, location. So hang on for a moment. I'm realizing just how unbelievably, like perfect this is. Wait, hold that, because I just don't want to hold on this sound. Mr. I don't John. like it. <laughs> okay. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. Right. I just got a little dizzy. Okay, now you want to tell us about Kamui? So yeah, this is actually pretty perfect. It's a uh, Kamui is a spiritual or divine being in Ainu mythology, a term denoting a supernatural entity composed of or possessing spiritual energy. The Ainu people have many myths about the Kamui, passed down through oral traditions and rituals. He's basically a being of pure spirit and metaphysi and metaphysicality. Is is that, like, the same word that Kami comes from? K-A-M-I? Um, no. Kami spirits? means God. Okay. Kamui is basically a being of, uh, a being of spirituality. Okay. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. We were talking a lot in that episode, in the comments of that one episode, the uh, the Dramatic Turns episode, Yeah. about kind of the plot Damn devices. It. it came so far to run smack into a dead end. Like when... When something does, like, having somebody die, but then, like, 
surprise they like come back and the death is cheap stuff and that's something that i tend to not like very much either Mm -hmm. but it's like kind of working for me here It, it works because there is that possibility that that doesn't happen yeah and i at least to me anyway my feelings on it are really complicated <laughs> but i think i'm ultimately in favor of how they're doing it i i personally like it I know here he's in there too what's wrong with me my powers are completely useless oh do, gee, do, how, yeah, don't don't you start familiar? don't you start rese teddy you little where the hell were you <laughs> and he's just like hiding back there like ceiling <laughs> cat I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> ah, Rise. Yeah, there's been like a special connection between Rise and Teddy, too. Yeah. Um, Rise chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! <laughs> S- sorry. I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. Uh, You listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow. Okay, he was only a shadow. Mm-hmm. And that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. Yeah, I think he was only a shadow when we ran into him. And I think his exposure to us made him start, like, thinking about his surroundings more. And he became, like, actually self-aware. Yeah, a- as Igor mentioned, uh, he basically grew an ego. Yeah. Yeah, like, he was kind of just... And, and that's the idea of the mascot being empty, is that he kind of was just a face. He was, like, what he was surface value. There was yep. nothing on the inside, but something grew. As he said before, he's not hollow anymore. Yeah. You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. <laughs> that That's oddly generous to say. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. I feel like I said something in an early episode to that effect. Like, I... I huh? I, I love the fact that Yos. You want to know something that I really like about Yosuke, like, that he kind of grows into, like, yeah. in, the, in the late game? He's the kind of character that embodies the whole cruel to be kind. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what Teddy needs to hear right now. Is like, hey, man, like, get over yourself. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the Rick and Morty quote, um, where he's like, like, nobody belongs anywhere. Everything's pointless. We're all going to die. Come watch TV. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that, that's like kind of, that, that kind of like optimistic nihilism. Yeah. Or absurdism, basically. That, that's a good way to put it, yeah. Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? <laughs> no normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. Okay, now he's back. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. Yep. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? We were just saying this. Yeah. Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Uh, I'm the same as humans you keep trying to figure out who you are 
just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? Yeah. You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Isn't that just you, senpai? <laughs> yeah, Risa's like, hey, I was world famous, so... Okay, don't even... Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. I was gonna say, like, I don't want to hear it from both of you. <laughs> You're misfits, too. Geez, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is... It's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. <laughs> uh, okay. I like how she was just kind of like shy to say that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Oh my god. Uh, you've taken another step towards the truth. Let's get another Justice Arcana then. All right. Judgment. I mean, judgment. Apparently, there will be a few more chances to do uh, justice in the post game. Oh, really? Uh, I think so. Oh, then we may have an opportunity. Yeah. Um, We're close. What about Hierophant? I think that too. Oh, there you go. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. So is there anything we can do right now during the evening? I don't know. Um, uh, it's probably not gonna let me leave now. Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna... Let, let's save real yeah, quick. Yeah, making a Good save time. here because... We don't want to go through that whole spiel of, like, going through and talking to random bull people again. Yeah. Why I don't know say bull people? Bull people? Like, like minotaurs? I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you fully recover from yesterday's events. You should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. Dude, don't even tell, talk to me about freaking minotaurs. There was that one session where my character, Tatiana, almost got killed by a minotaur. Oh, yeah, you got wrecked by that minotaur. Like, I was at zero HP. Like, I was still conscious, but I was down. Speaking of d and I'm just thinking about how much, like, I wrote Bankwo to be a certain I'll character. I'll give it a try, but... And, like, Teddy is, like... A very similar thing that already existed and I just didn't know about it. <laughs> this very similar, like, oh, I want to be human. And, yeah. Like, you kind of, like, already are. If Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I have a serious I face. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> All power directly to nose. Ooh, I'm getting something. Oh, wow. He willed himself into smelling better. <laughs> I mean, he did un He did just unlock his true persona, <laughs> so I, I imagine something of his got better. <laughs> Kaioken! Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from... this away. Is it Itachi? Um... how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. <laughs> Very suspicious. This definitely smells... Like, I, I imagine it's like Teddy smells something really, really freaking weird and, like, yeah, stupidly crazy I can't crazy find a dashi, here. but I, there's a really big power surge this way. Exactly. So, who knows, it might be a dachi. But 
That's weird. If something smells, it's probably the bus. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there! Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. So Wait, it's what? Did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke <laughs> had to go to the bathroom and... <laughs> huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. You almost pissed your pants, though. Yeah, I, I don't remember exactly. He was, like, talking about having to pee can, can I? Can uh, I? well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? I kind of love the fact that they called back to that. Yeah. that That's really good. It all comes full circle. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. Oh, my <laughs> God, Teddy. It's good to have a pack. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. A cheerful mood has returned to the group thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step towards the truth. Oh, Man, you're just one. dealing these out like hotcakes. I'm, I'm not complaining. Or like white chocolate cookies because that's what the, that's what the marks look like. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. I was just thinking of something. That damn bitch. Yeah, so this was the room that represented the murder, I think. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Oh. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Uh, did you kill Miss Yamano? Give it up. You're the real killer. Uh, I'll pose that as a question. You're getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. Did you or did you not throw Ms. Yamano into the TV? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Here we go. Okay, this this is where we're going to start getting into it. All right. <laughs> Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? Oh, so she doesn't even know him. What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Oh, Adachi, did you just have a crush on the lady on TV? Yeah. Oh, you loser. Yeah. Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless Bitch! What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help! <sighs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? No! Ah! She, she fell in. So I guess you were really just trying to strangle her or push her, like you were trying to like push her into the TV, like l literally, like like actually like, like back her back her up against the TV. Yeah, like but like then that happened. Concuss her against the screen. Yep. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Maybe he already knew he could like put his hand in or something. I don't know. I don't know. He was a bad guy. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Wow. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. 
Yeah, this person that you've never met betrayed you, Adachi. Okay, all right, all right. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, th let, let's just get through this. Uh, actually, we're going to cut it off there, so we're going to have started and ended with questioning Adachi in very different locales. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, we will pick this up next time. Okay. I'm Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And, uh, wow, I learned a lot about bears today. <laughs> D did you know bears actually come from an alternate plane of existence? Oh my god, no. And that they can actually grow their own egos? Okay, let's not. <laughs> also, they're fuzzy. Yeah, well, I knew that. <laughs>